The Haunting of Hill House has many different things that can be taken from its ending. By the end of the show, we are all convinced that the experiences the Cranes have had are real and that the house itself is a paranormal entity hell-bent on making them suffer. But what if there's a completely plausible explanation to the events that happen in the show? What if the one thing that is present throughout is what is causing the Cranes to believe that they are being haunted? Whilst we never get concrete confirmation that this is the case, it seems completely likely that the mould that festers throughout the house may in fact be causing all of the hallucinations and problems. The black mould is first found by the family in episode 7, during which Hugh discovers it spreading behind the walls of the house. The father discusses how dangerous that it is and stipulates that it can cause problems both physically and mentally. The mould keeps them in the house for longer than intended as Hugh knows that he must fix it before listing it for sale. It could be concluded that the mould is in fact causing all of the health and hallucination problems that are rampant throughout the family. The red room itself is heavily infested with a massive amount of mould and this could also be the reasoning behind this being labelled as the house's stomach. The red room is considered to be the part of the house where every problem resonates from because it's completely filled with mould. The mould even makes an appearance in Shirley's model house. When it is found in pieces, Shirley turns it over to find the inner walls rotting with the black stuff. This could also be attributed as the cause of the hallucinations that happen in her home. Luke witnesses the ghost of William Hill outside of a mold infested area, however he is a drug addict and these visions could be put down to the drugs themselves. Even when Steve is painting the little dresser for his mother, we can see hints of mold hidden below it. When Hugh returns to the house in the show's climax, the ghost of Olivia informs him that the other visions he has had of her during his life are in fact all in his head. This showcases that he can still hallucinate without there being a need for a ghost present. Maybe all of the events in the show were brought on by the black mold infesting them. What I love about the show is that it works either way. The best ghost stories always offer a way for skeptics to put the events aside, and whilst I do believe that the apparitions were real, it is fun to consider that they may in fact not be. Perhaps the family is, as Steve states, suffering from a mental illness that was brought on by the house infecting them. So, do you think the ghosts in The Haunting of Hill House were real? Or do you think the events were brought on by the black mold? Comment below and let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, please check out my full explanation on the show, which is linked at the end of this one. This is a channel for people who are heavy into horror, so if that's the kind of thing you like, hit subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel so I can continue to create more content like this, then please donate to my Patreon, which is linked in the description. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this. I've been Definition, you've been the best, and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.